everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's about 5.15 here on the East Coast, uh, just north of Atlanta, Georgia, on January 23rd, 2013. Folks, we are just uh, in a buoyant market for right now. And uh, before we take a look at the chart, as always, I want to remind you that the website and the video are for educational purposes only, and they are not to be taken as actual investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I want to shoot perfectly straight with you. I am just a guy who draws lines on charts. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, this is a 30 minute chart. And, and basically, I want to just take a, a super, super quick, um, oh, my chart isn't centered. Hold on. There we go. That's a little better. Hold on. It moved again. Doggone it. There. Okay. Before we take a, a, a look at what happened today, I want to uh, look back and just kind of go back to uh, late November. You know, we've been in this rising channel defined by these turquoise lines, this being the top resistance line, this being the bottom support line. And what makes this interesting is we broke support, but didn't really do so in that big of a way. I mean, it just, it is, it, just, it wasn't like a tum, tumultuous downward move. But we came down to a level uh just under 1400 where the market rebounded uh, on the last day of trading of 2012 and then on January we gapped up huge by by most people's standards at least by the standards of what be what we had been used to in this market we essentially gap up uh, about 25 points in the S&P and we have since then just been uh, I, I think the term that some people might use, the market seems to be melting up, okay? It's just got this little lazy, floating, we're going to go higher, we're going higher. We're not seeing big moves, we're just seeing money rolling into the market incrementally. But what I want to show you is that <clears throat> this blue line right here, turquoise line call it, I hope you can see that highlighted. Today we are back to that line if we define that line from, the, uh, from these three touches right here that took place in, uh, in um, very late November and, and two more touches throughout December. So really this is where this line has been drawn all along. That's where we ended today. If we draw a line that is almost exactly parallel to that, then we end up with a line that defines our last two um, significant bottoms in this market. And one of those bottoms was actually a panic low, if you will, that took the market underneath the descending channel that it had been in. So this marked uh, a reversal, and we picked up on that at the time. Now, the question is, what do we do at this point? Well, here's, here's my take on it, and that is we continue to watch this line right here as a signal that we are likely in for a short-term reversal. I say short-term because I don't think this market is going to go down big. Um, I think it could go down, and I think it needs to go down to the 1440s. I think that would be a great thing. I think that would be a good thing. If you're a bull, you should be hoping for that, I think. Um, let me scoot this line back up where it should be, right there. So what I would do is look for this line. If it breaks, then we start to see what kind of action we, we start to set up. Will we, as we did the last time uh, we broke 
a rising support line where we set up a channel that lasts a week or a little bit more than a week we certainly have the room in the chart to do so and like I said I would be tickled if that was the case because that would then give us an opportunity to buy a dip to buy a, a, a an I don't really want to call this an intermediate term because in my book intermediate term is not measured in days but rather in well it could be but let's just let let's go with short term dip something like what we saw back at the end of the year I would love to see a break of this line and then a return to either the 1440s or wherever we may encounter this rising support line right here so if this if we were to melt on up to 1512 or so and then come down I would not expect us to get down to the 1440s instead I would I would be looking for a bounce on this line where it might be encountered in the future but if we look at uh, if we look at you know today's trading the past couple of days trading all we see is just this little slow meandering melt up and uh, if we want to get a little fancy, we could maybe draw a short-term trend line here. Maybe that's where it could be with our, our resistance line up here. Or is that it? And we're starting to break it. I don't know. But I can tell you that we are now near a line that should... Um, be tough to take out if it does get taken out you know what we've seen in the past like back here we saw um, we go to an hour chart again like back here when we were in this descending channel taking out that channel to the downside actually was the first signal that the selling was over if we take this channel out to the upside then I would take that as a signal that this is likely going to turn around and will come back into the channel and head back down to this lower line. Now, you see this brown line up here. If we look at that line, that is the line that is drawn over the last two head and shoulders tops. Okay? We had a head and shoulders top in 2012. We had a smallish head and shoulders top in two, uh, later in 2012. That line now extends very near to where this market is getting quite close to it. So, a matter of fact, we also have a, a secondary uh, support line down here that is drawn over. Uh, the the right shoulder of this inverted head and shoulders pattern this was really a mess back here by the way that was a hard sucker to get a handle on but we ev eventually ended up making it a recognizable inverted head and shoulders there's the right shoulder and then I've drawn this line over uh, the head and then we see that, uh, that this that this um, excuse me this line the right shoulder the head and then the second head or whatever this pattern is that we're dealing with right now so just to make a long story short um, I would look for this teal line to probably give us a buying opportunity because I think we've got support at 1440 I don't think at this point we're going to come down to the 1380s um, personally I, I think we've got support here after having seen the kind of action that we've seen over the past um, three weeks I think if we do come down I think there will be buyers in the wings who will buy the dip and I, I'm thinking that would likely happen uh, in the 1440s so this is the teal line I'm talking about this one right here will probably put up a little resistance but if we break down through uh, this channel, I just don't see it being a, a <coughs> I don't see that break of this line 
producing a move downwards of 20 points or so. I think it'll I think it'll give up more than that. So I would look for this bottom teal line uh, to hold or the 1440s, whichever one might be encountered first. So let's see what happens. But hey, for right now, like same same thing as yesterday. If you're a bull, enjoy the ride and look to this line as a sign that this nice January effect may be about time to give up a little ground. Hey guys, thanks for watching uh, the video. Thank you for your subscription and uh, there will be another video tomorrow but Thursday's video will be late. The reason being is I am uh, on an assignment that here locally but it will take me out of my office from um, before the close into uh, late late evening so the video will be posted either late tomorrow night or early on Friday morning um, now if we end up with something really tumultuous tomorrow if we have if we were to, to, to give up 20 25 points tomorrow I might do the video before the close but hey the way things are going I'm not really expecting that to be the case so take care. Once again, thanks for watching.